Charles Red Farmer's career is one long series of immeasurable accolades. It's entirely unknown just how many wins Farmer has. One thing is for sure, it's a lot, somewhere north of 700. He began his career in 1948, the same year NASCAR was founded. He came to Alabama, dominated when he got there. In fact, uh, I had made friends with some of the other competitors, and one of them said to me, what did you bring that guy for? I said, that's who I want to beat. Farmer and the Allison brothers became known as the Alabama Gang. In 1962, Bobby Allison, Donnie Allison, Red Farmer ran 106 races together that year. And between the three of us, we won 96. The record books do have a few things that are black and white about Farmer's career. He won the modified title in 1956 and collected three consecutive championships in NASCAR's late model sportsman division from 1969 to 71. Farmer also won most popular driver awards in both the modified and late model divisions twice. In 1998, Farmer's many successes landed him on the list of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers. Red was probably one of the hardest guys I ever raced against in my life. He was a hard charger, give you all the room that you needed to race when you couldn't use it. He was a threat to win regardless of where he was or what he was driving. He was a 100% racer. He brought anything and everything and still does. He still races on the dirt tracks around Talladega, Alabama and different parts of the country. Red Farmer today is still one of the greatest, I think, that's ever been in NASCAR. There's nobody that's given their life to the sport, to the racing, to the fans, and Red Farmer has. The breadth of his experience is, is virtually unparalleled. You look at NASCAR for seven decades or more, you look at Red Farmer's career for seven plus decades, and you've got what NASCAR was about, where it came from and where it is today and why people love it so much. Nobody compares to Red Farmer. Nobody's done what Red's done. Nobody's gonna do that in the future either.